Hi, I'm Austin Eisensee, board member of Eisensee Foundation for Safe Police Response. I'm here today with the president of Eisensee Foundation for Safe Police Response, and I want to find out from him what is Eisensee Foundation for Safe Police Response and why does it exist? The Eisensee Foundation for Safe Police Response was created after my son Sean was killed by the police. The police were responding to a mental health crisis that Sean was having and I actually called the police for help. I never expected that the end result of that would be that my son would be killed by the police. After that happened, I realized that there had to be a better way to deal with a situation like this. And so I talked to my family about creating a foundation to do what we could to keep this from happening to other families in a similar situation. So we started the ICNC Foundation and it's now a nonprofit foundation. It's officially approved as a nonprofit by the IRS. And we've been making contacts all over Houston, all over our area, which is Sugarland, Texas, and Fort Bend County. And we are mobilizing to let people know that it's not acceptable to have someone who's having a mental crisis be shot and killed. There has to be a better way. So can you tell us, uh, Ted, how long has uh, ICC Foundation been around and can you give us some examples of, you know, differences you're making in the community? Yes, one of the things that we have done is meet with the police chief of the Sugarland Police Department as well as the mayor of Sugarland and the assistant uh, mayor, I believe, it, or assistant police chief or assistant mayor to let them know what we're up to and to get their support. The good thing that's happened, one of the good things that's happened in our area is that the police chief has committed to having his officers trained quite a bit more than they had been trained. He wants to have 100% of them trained. Another great thing that has happened, and we can't take all the credit for this or maybe even any credit, but it's a wonderful thing, is that in Fort Bend County, we have a new task force that's been created. It consists of about 10 police officers who will be dedicated to responding to mental health crisis. Now, there's not going to be a mental health crisis happening every moment, so what are they going to do when they're not responding? Well, that gives them an opportunity to do some prevention work, to do follow-up work. So one of the things that we're doing currently is getting the word out about this new task force so that when people are having a mental crisis or family members of the, the person in crisis calls for help, they know to ask for this task force because if you just simply call 911, you don't know what you're going to get. We want people to know that they have to find out in their own community what type of resources are available to respond because when you call 911 and the police come, you just lost control of the situation. So you want to make sure that the people who are coming are trained and are compassionate in their approach. Thanks Ted. And finally, can you uh, let everybody out there who's watching know what are some ways that they can get involved and or uh, ways to educate themselves um, about some of these issues? Well, one of the groups that we're also a member of is the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill, called NAMI for short. And we've been members of that for a number of years. And their mission is close to ours, but ours is somewhat more narrowly focused. NAMI is an advocate for the, the mentally ill and for the families of people who are mentally ill. Our focus specifically is doing what we can to have the emergency responders, and generally they include policemen, be 
as well trained as possible and as well equipped as possible so they can be safe in responding, the family can be safe, and the person who's in crisis can be safe. So we certainly appreciate donations to our foundation. It is the Eisensee Foundation for Safe Police Response. And we also suggest that people get educated through whatever source you can, and NAMI is a great resource as well. Thanks for that, Ted. Check us out on facebook.com slash safe police response. Uh, we're working on integrating donations into a website that should be available shortly. In the meantime, you can send donations to 3303 Lakefield, that's one word, L-A-K-E-F-I-E-L-D Boulevard, in Sugarland, two words, Texas, 77479. Make the checkout payable to Eisensee Foundation for Safe Police Response. Thanks for watching.